Chapter 9 The Names of Buddhas At that time, earth star Bodhisattva Mahasattva said to the Buddha, World honored one, I want to discuss some practices that will be helpful to beings of the future and will enable them to gain great benefit throughout their lives and deaths. World honored one, please hear my words. The Buddha told Earth Star Bodhisattva, Now, with your expansive compassion, you wish to discuss the inconceivable events involved in rescuing all those in the six paths who are suffering for their offenses. This is the right time. Speak now, since my nirvana is near, so that I may soon help you complete your vows then neither of us will need to be concerned about beings of the present or future. Earth Star Bodhisattva said to the Buddha, World Honored One, call this as Samkhya ends ago. A Buddha named Bali's body, First Come One, appeared in the world. If a man or women hear this Buddha's name and have a momentary thought of respect, those people will overstep the heavy offenses involved in birth and death for 40 years. How much more will that be the case for those who scorned or painted this Buddha's image or praise and make offerings to him? The merit they obtain will be limitless and boundless. Furthermore, in the past, as many years ago, as their grains of sand in the Ganges River. A Buddha named Drua Nitra first came one appeared in the world. If a man or women hear this Buddha's name and instantly decide to take refuge, those people will never retreat from the unsurpassed path. Furthermore, in the past, a Buddha named Lotus Supreme first come one appeared in the world. If a man or women hear this Buddha's name, or if the sound of his name merely passes by their ears, those people will be reborn 1,000 times in the six desire heavens. How much more will that be the case if those people sincerely recite the name of that first come one? Furthermore, in the past, inexpressibly ineffable as Sankhya aeons ago, a Buddha named Lion's Ra first come one appeared in the world. If a man or woman hear this Buddha's name and in a single thought take refuge, those people will encounter numberless Buddhas who will wrap the crowns of their heads and bestow predictions of enlightenment upon them. Furthermore, in the past, a Buddha named Karakuchanda appeared in the world. If men or women hear this Buddha's name and sincerely gaze at, worship, or praise him, those people will become great Brahma heaven kings in the assemblies of the thousand Buddhas of the worthy Aeon and will there receive superior predictions. Furthermore, in the past, a Buddha named Vipassin appeared in the world. If men or women hear this Buddha's name, those people will eternally avoid falling into the evil paths, will always be born among people or gods, and will abide in supremely wonderful bliss. Furthermore, in the past, as many ends ago as there are grains of sand in limitless and countless Ganges rivers. A Buddha named Jord Victory Thus Come One appeared in the world. If men or women hear this Buddha's name, those people will never fall into the evil paths and will always abide in the heavens, experiencing supremely wonderful bliss. Furthermore, in the past, a Buddha named Jord Appearance Thus Come One appeared in the world. If a man or woman hear this Buddha's name and give rise to a thought of respect, those people will soon attain the fruition of a hardship. 
Furthermore, limitless Asankhya ends ago, a Buddha named Kanshaya Banathas Kamwan appeared in the world. If men or women hear this Buddha's name, those people will overcome the offenses created throughout 100 great eons of births and deaths. Furthermore, in the past, a Buddha named Great Penetration Mountain King First Come One appeared in the world. If a man or women hear this Buddha's name, those people will encounter as many Buddhas as their grains of sand in the Ganges. Those Buddhas will speak Dharma extensively for them, making certain that they realize the Bodhi. Furthermore, in the past, there were Buddhas named Pure Moon Buddha, Mountain King Buddha, Wise Victory Buddha, Pure Name King Buddha, Accomplished Wisdom Buddha, Unsurpassed Buddha, Wonderful Sound Buddha, Full Moon Buddha, Moon Face Buddha, and indescribably many other Buddhas, World Honored One. Beings of the present and future, both gods and humans, both male and female, can amass such limitless merit and virtue by reciting only one Buddha's name. How much more merit will they amass by reciting many names? Those beings will personally obtain benefits in their lives and deaths significant enough to keep them from ever falling into the evil paths. When people are on the brink of death, a group of their relatives, or even just one of them, should recite a Buddha's name aloud for the people who are ailing. If they do, the karmic retributions of those people who are about to die will be dissolved even offenses deserving fivefold relentless retribution. Offenses warranting fivefold relentless retribution are so extremely heavy that those who commit them should not escape retribution for millions of ends. If, however, at the time of such offenders' deaths, someone recites the names of Buddhas on their behalf, then their offenses can gradually be dissolved. How much more will that be the case for beings who recite those names themselves? The merit they create will be limitless and will eradicate measureless offenses. The conditions and comparative merit and virtue of giving. At that time, Earth Star Bodhisattva Mahasattva, based on the Buddha's awesome spiritual strength, rose from his seat, knelt on one knee, placed his palms together, and said to the Buddha, World Honored One, I have observed beings within the paths of karma and compared their acts of giving. Some do a little and some do a lot. Some receive blessings for one life, some for ten lives, and some receive great blessings and benefits for hundreds or thousands of lives. Why is that? Please, World Honored One, explain that for us. At that time, the Buddha told Earth Star Bodhisattva, Here in this assembly, in the palace of the Chajachim Shah Heaven, I will now discuss the comparative merit and virtue derived from acts of giving done by the beings in Jambuvipa. Acts of giving done by the beings in Jambuvipa. Listen attentively to what I say. Earth Star said to the Buddha, I have wondered about this matter and will be pleased to listen. The Buddha told the Earth Star Bodhisattva, Indra Mutvipa, leaders of nations, prime ministers, high officials, great elders, great Shachiyas, great Brahmans, and others may encounter those who are poor, hunchbacked, crippled, dumb, mute, deaf, retarded, blind, or handicapped in other ways. 
those leaders and good people may wish to give to those unfortunate ones and may be able to do so with great compassion, a humble heart, and a smile. They may arrange to give generously, either personally with their own hands or by arranging for others to do so, using gentle words and sympathetic speech. The blessings and benefits that such leaders and good people will accrue, accrue will be comparable to the meritorious virtue derived from giving to as many Buddhas as their grains of sand in a hundred Ganges rivers. Why is that? Those leaders and good people will receive such rewards of blessings and benefits for having shown a greatly compassionate heart toward the most impoverished and handicapped individuals throughout hundreds of thousands of lives to come they will always have an abundance of the seven gems not to mention clothing food and the necessities of life moreover earth store in the future the leaders of nations brahmans and others may encounter Buddhist stupas, monasteries, or images of Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, hearers, or Pratika Buddhas, and personally make offerings or give gifts to them. If they do that, each of those leaders and good people will serve as Lord Chakra for a duration of three ends, enjoying supremely wonderful bliss. If they are able to transfer the blessings and benefits of that giving, dedicating it to the Dharma realm, then those leaders of nations and good people will reign as great Brahma heaven kings for ten years. Moreover, Earth Store, in the future, leaders of nations, Brahmans and others may, upon encountering ancient Buddhist stupas, and monasteries or sutras and images that are damaged, decaying or broken, resolve to restore them. Those leaders and good people may then do so themselves or encourage others, as many as hundreds of thousands of people, to help and thereby establish affinities. Those leaders and good people will become well-turning kings for hundreds of thousands of successive lives, and those who made offerings with them will later be leaders of small nations for as many lives. If they resolve to dedicate that merit before the stupas or monasteries, then based on that limitless and unbounded reward, those leaders, good people, and their helpers will all eventually complete the path to Buddhahood. Moreover, Earth Store, in the future, leaders of nations, Brahmans, and others may have compassionate thoughts upon seeing the old, the sick, or women in childbirth and may provide them with medicinal herbs, food, drink, and bedding so as to make them peaceful and comfortable. The blessings and benefits derived from doing that are quite inconceivable. For 1,000 ants, they will always be lords of the pure dwelling heavens. For 200 ants, they will be lords in the six desire heavens, and they will ultimately attain Buddhahood. They will never fall into the evil paths, and for hundreds of thousands of lives, they will hear no sounds of suffering. Moreover, Earth Star, if in the future leaders of nations, Brahmans, and others can give in that way, they will receive limitless blessings if, in addition, they are able to dedicate that merit, be it great or small, they will ultimately attain Buddhahood. How much more easily will they be able to attain the rewards of becoming Chakra, Brahma, or a well-sending king. Therefore, Earth Star, you should urge beings everywhere to learn to give in those ways. Moreover, Earth Star, 
In the future, if a good men or women manage to plant only a few good roots within the Buddha Dharma, equivalent to no more than a strand of hair, a grain of sand, or a mud of dust, they will receive incomparable blessings and benefits. Moreover, earth store. In the future, good men or women, upon encountering images of Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Pratika Buddhas, or well-sounding kings, may give gifts or make offerings to them. Such persons will obtain limitless blessings and will always enjoy supremely wonderful bliss among pupils and gods, if they can dedicate that merit to the Dharma realm. Their blessings and benefits will be beyond compare. Moreover, earth store in the future, good men or women, upon encountering great vehicle sutras, or upon hearing but a single gatha or sentence of them, may be inspired to praise, venerate, give gifts, and make offerings to them. Those people will obtain great limitless and unbounded rewards. If they can dedicate that merit to the Dharma realm, their blessings will be beyond compare. Moreover, earth store in the future, good men or women upon encountering new Buddhist stupas, monasteries, or sutras of the great Rehigo, may give gifts and make offerings to them, gaze at them in worship, and respectfully make praises with joyed palms. Upon encountering old stupas, monasteries, or sutras, or those that have been destroyed or damaged. They may either do the repairing and rebuilding themselves or encourage others to help them. Those who help will become leaders of small nations for 30 successive lives. The donors themselves will always be well-turning kings who will use the good drama to teach and transform those leaders of small nations. Moreover, earth store in the future, good men or women may plant good roots in the Buddha Dharma by giving, making offerings, repairing stupas or monasteries, rebinding sutras, or doing other good deeds amounting to no more than a strand of hair, a mold of dust, a grain of sand, or a drop of water, merely by transferring the merit from such deeds to the Dharma realm. The merit and virtue that those people will create will cause them to enjoy superior and wonderful bliss for hundreds of thousands of lives. But if they dedicate the merit only to their immediate or extended families or to their own personal benefit, then the rewards received will be only three lives of happiness. By giving up one, a 10,000-fold reward is obtained. So it is, earth store, the circumstances involved in the causes and conditions of giving are thus. Chapter 11. The Dharma Protection of an Earth Spirit At that time, the earth spirit firm and stable addressed the Buddha thus. Won't honored one, since long ago I have personally beheld and bowed to limitless numbers of bodhisattvas, masattvas. All of them have inconceivably great spiritual penetrations and wisdom that they use in taking across vast numbers of beings. Among all of the bodhisattvas, earth star bodhisattva, masattva, has made the deepest and weightiest vows. World Honored One, a star bodhisattva has great affinities with beings in Jambuvipa, Manjushri, Universal Worthy, Samadha Bhadra, Contemplator of the World South, Avalokiteshvara Kuan Yin, and Maitreya, also manifest hundreds of thousands of transformation bodies to rescue those in the six paths, but their vows will ultimately be fulfilled. 
Old Star Bodhisattva Sattva keeps renewing his vows to teach and transform beings in the six paths throughout ends as numerous as the number of sand grains in thousands of billions of Ganges rivers. World Honored One, as I regard beings of the present and future, I see those who make shrines of clay, stone, bamboo, or wood and set them on pure ground in the southern part of their dwellings. They place within the shrines images of a straw bodhisattva, either sculpted or painted or made of gold, silver, copper, or iron. Then they burn incense, make offerings, behold, worship, and praise him. By doing those things, such people will receive ten kinds of benefits. What are those ten? First, their lands will be fertile. Second, their families and homes will always be peaceful. Third, their ancestors will be born in the heavens. Fourth, those of the current generation will enjoy benefits and long lives. Fifth, they will easily obtain what they want. Sixth, they will not encounter disasters of water and fire. Seventh, they will avoid unforeseen calamities. Eighth, they will never have nightmares. Ninth, they will, they will be protected by spirits in their daily comings and goings. Tenth, they will create many causes that lead to sagehood. World Honored One, beings of the present and future who make offerings in their homes in the prescribed manner will attain benefits like those. He further said to the Buddha, World Honored One, good men or women in the future may keep this sutra and an image of the Bodhisattva where they live. Furthermore, they may recite the sutra and make offerings to the Bodhisattva. I shall constantly use my own spiritual powers day and night to guard and protect those who do that from disasters, including floods, fire, robbery and theft, major calamities and minor accidents. The Buddha told the earth spirit firm and stable. There are few spirits who can match your great spiritual power. Why do I say that? All the lands in Jambuvipa receive your protection. All the grasses, woods, sands, stones, paddy fields, hemp, bamboo, reeds, grains, rice and gems come forth from the earth because of your power. Moreover, your constant praising of the beneficial deeds of earth straw bodhisattva makes your meritorious virtual and spiritual penetrations hundreds of thousands of times greater than those of ordinary earth spirits. If a good men or women in the future make offerings to this bodhisattva, or recite the sutra of the past vows of earth straw bodhisattva and rely upon even a single aspect of it in their cultivation. You should use your own spiritual powers to protect them. Do not allow any disasters or unwelcome events even to be heard, much less undergone by them. Not only will those people be protected by you, but they will also be protected by the followers of Chakra, Brahma, and other gods. Why will they receive protection from sages and worthy such as those? It will be due to their having beheld and worshipped an image of a straw bodhisattva and from having recited the sutra of his past vows. Such people will quite naturally be able to leave the sea of suffering and will ultimately be certified to the bliss of Nirvana. For those reasons, they will receive great protection. Chapter 12 Benefits Derived from Seeing and Hearing 
At that time, the world honored one emitted millions of billions of great rays of light from the crown of his head. They were white ray, the great white ray, the auspicious ray, the great auspicious ray, the jet ray, the great jet ray, the purple ray, the great purple ray, the blue ray, the great blue ray, the azure ray, the great azure ray. The red ray, the great red ray, the green ray, the great green ray, the gold ray, the great gold ray, the celebration cloud ray, the great celebration cloud ray, the thousand wheeled ray, the great thousand wheeled ray, the jeweled wheel ray, the great jeweled wheel ray, the solar disk ray, the great solar disk ray, the lunar disk ray, the great lunar disk ray. The palace ray, the great palace ray, the the ocean cloud ray, and the great ocean cloud ray. After emitting such rays of light from the crown of his head, he spoke in subtle and wonderful sounds to the great assembly of God's dragons, the rest of the eightfold division, humans, non-humans, and others. Hear me today in the palace of the Chajashimsha heaven, as I praise the Earth Star Bodhisattva, telling of his beneficial deeds, of the inconceivable events, of the matter of his transcendence to sagehood, of the circumstances of his certification to the tenth ground, and of the situation leading to his becoming irreversible from Anuttara Samya Sambuddhi. After he said that, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva, named the contemplator of the one south, rose from his seat, and in the assembly knelt and with palms together said to the Buddha, "Won't honored one, Earth Star Bodhisattva Mahasattva is replete with great compassion and pities beings who are suffering for their offenses, in thousands of billions of worlds." He creates thousands of billions of transformation bodies through the strength of his meritorious, virtual, and inconceivable, awesome spiritual power. I have heard the world honored one and the numberless Buddhas of the ten directions praise Earth Star Bodhisattva in unison, saying that even if all the Buddhas of the past, present, and future were to speak of his meritorious qualities. They could never finish describing them. Upon hearing the world honored one tell the great assembly that he now wants to praise Earth Star Bodhisattva's beneficial deeds and so forth, I am beseeching the world honored one to praise the inconceivable events pertaining to Earth Star Bodhisattva for the sake of beings of the present and future, and to cause the gods, dragons. And the rest of the eightfold division to gaze at him in worship and obtain blessings. The Buddha replied to a contemplator of the world's South Bodhisattva, "You have deep affinities with the Saha world. If gods, dragons, men, women, spirits, ghosts, or any other beings who are suffering for offenses within the six paths." Hear your name, see your image, behold you, or praise you. They will definitely become irreversible on the unsurpassed way. They will always be born among people and gods, and their experience of wonderful bliss. When the effects of their causes come to fruition, they will encounter Buddhas who will give them predictions. You are now replete with great compassion and pity for beings, including gods, dragons, and the rest of the eightfold division. Listen as I discuss events involving the inconceivable benefits bestowed by Earth Star Bodhisattva. Listen attentively; I will discuss it for you. Contemplator of the World South said. So be it, world honored one. We will be pleased to listen. The Buddha told the Bodhisattva contemplator of the world south, 
in ones of the present and future gods whose heavenly blessings are ending may be manifesting the five signs of decay indicating what they may be about to fall into the evil paths when those signs appear if those gods whether male or female see a straw bodhisattva's image or hear his name and gaze at him or bow but once to him their heavenly blessings will thereby increase they will experience great happiness and will never have to undergo retributions in the three evil paths how much more will that be the case for those who upon seeing and hearing the bodhisattva use incense flowers clothing food drink jewels and necklaces as gifts and offerings to him the meritorious virtual blessings and benefits they gain will be limitless and unbounded moreover contemplator of the world south in worlds of the present and future when beings in the six paths are on the verge of death if they can hear the name of a straw bodhisattva even once such beings will never have to endure the sufferings of the three evil paths again how much more will that be the case if the parents or other relatives use the houses wealth property jewels and clothing of such people who are on the verge of death to commission the carving or painting of images of earth stop bodhisattva if those ailing people have not yet died their relatives can try to help them see hear and understand that their houses jewels and so forth have been used to carve or paint images of earth stop bodhisattva if those pupils karmic retributions were such that they were to undergo severe sickness then with such merit they can quickly be cured and their lifespans prolonged if those pupils retributions send them to the evil destinies of death due to their karma and obstacles then with such merit they can when their lives end be born instead among people or gods and there enjoy extremely wonderful bliss all their obstacles due to offenses will dissolve moreover contemplator of the world's house bodhisattva in the future men or women may lose their fathers mothers brothers or sisters while still infants or as youngsters as the elders such people may think about those parents and other relatives not knowing into what paths or worlds or heavens they have been reborn suppose that such people are able to sculpt or paint images of a straw bodhisattva or to gaze upon and worship him for one through seven days without retreating thus upon hearing his name and seeing his image they gaze at him in worship and make offerings if such people's relatives had fallen into bad paths and were destined to remain there for many ends those relatives would quickly gain release be born among people or gods and experience supremely wonderful bliss that will happen because of the meritorious virtue generated by their sons daughters brothers or sisters who carved or painted images of earth stop bodhisattva and then gazed upon and worshipped them if such people's relatives have already been born among people or gods on the strength of their own blessings and are already experiencing supremely wonderful bliss then upon receiving that additional merit their causes pertaining to sagehood will increase and they will experience limitless bliss if such people are able to behold and worship images of a straw bodhisattva single-mindedly for three weeks reciting his name a full ten thousand times the bodhisattva may then manifest a boundless body and describe to those people the realms 
into which their relatives have been born. Or, in their dreams, the Bodhisattva may manifest great spiritual powers and personally lead them to those worlds to see their relatives. If they can further recite the Bodhisattva's name 1,000 times a day, every day, for 1,000 days, the Bodhisattva will order the ghosts and earth spirits in the vicinity of such people to guard and protect them for their entire lives. In this world, their clothing and food will be abundant and they will have no suffering from sickness or other causes. No accidents will occur in their households, much less affect them personally. Finally, the Bodhisattva will wrap the crowds of the heads and bestow predictions upon them. Moreover, contemplator of the world south Bodhisattva, in the future, good men or women may want to practice great compassion in rescuing beings, may want to cultivate unsurpassed body, and may want to leave the triple world. Those people may see Earth Star Bodhisattva's image, hear his name, and in their hearts take refuge with him. They may use incense, flowers, clothing, jewels, food and drink to make offerings while beholding and worshipping him. Such people's wishes will quickly be fulfilled and they will never have any further obstructions. Moreover, contemplator of the world sounds Bodhisattva in the future, good men and women may want to fulfill millions of billions of vows and to succeed in as many undertakings both in the present and the future. They need only take refuge with, gaze upon, worship, make offerings to and praise images of Earth Star Bodhisattva. In this way, their vows and goals can all be realized. Moreover, they may hope that Earth Star Bodhisattva, being endowed with great compassion, will always protect them. In dreams, the Bodhisattva will wrap the crowds of their heads and bestow predictions upon them. Moreover, contemplator of the world south Bodhisattva, in the future, good men and women may have a high regard for the great Vihaiko Sutras and make the inconceivable resolve to read them and to recite them from memory. They may then encounter a bright master who instructs them so that they can become familiar with the text. But as soon as they learn them, they forget them. They may try for months or years and yet still be unable to read or recite them from memory. Because those good men and women have karmic obstructions from past lives that have not yet been dissolved. They are unable to read and memorize sutras of great Vihaiko. Upon hearing Earth Star Bodhisattva's name or seeing his image, such people should, with deep respect and honesty, state their situation to the Bodhisattva. In addition, they should use incense, flowers, clothing, food and drink, and other beloved uh, material objects to make offerings to the Bodhisattva. They should place a bowl of pure water before the Bodhisattva for one day and one night. Afterwards, joining their palms together, they should state their request and then, while facing south, prepare to drink the water. As the water is about to enter their mouths, they should be particularly sincere and solemn. After drinking the water, they should abstain from the five pungent plants, wine, meat, improper sexual activity, phone speech, and all killing and harming for one to three weeks. In dreams, those good men and women may then see Earth Star Bodhisattva manifesting a boundless body and anointing the crowds of the heads with water. When they awaken, they may be endowed with keen intelligence, 
Upon hearing this sutra but one time, they will eternally remember it and never forget or lose a single sentence or verse. Moreover, contemplator of the world's house, Bodhisattva, in the future there may be people whose food and clothing are insufficient, who find their efforts toward it, who endure much sickness or misfortune, whose families are not peaceful, whose relatives are scattered, who are accident prone, or who are often startled in their sleep by dreams. Upon hearing Earth Star Bodhisattva's name and seeing his image, such people should recite his name a full ten thousand times with extreme sincerity and respect. Those in auspicious circumstances will gradually disappear and they will find peace and happiness. Their food and clothing will be abundant and even in their dreams they will be peaceful and happy. Moreover, contemplator of the world's house Bodhisattva, in the future, good men or women may have to enter mountain forests, cross rivers, seas, or other large bodies of water, or take dangerous routes either for the sake of earning their own livelihood or for public or personal affairs, matters of life and death, or other urgent business. Such people should first recite the name of a stubborn sat back a full ten thousand times. The ghosts and spirits of the lands they pass through will then guard and protect them in their walking, standing, sitting, and lying down. The peace and happiness of those people will constantly be preserved so that even if they encounter tigers, wolves, lions, or any other harmful or poisonous creatures, they will not be harmed. The Buddha told the contemplator of the world's south of Bodhisattva, A strong Bodhisattva has deep affinities with the beings in Jambuvipa. Hundreds of thousands of ants would not be time enough to describe the benefits derived by beings who see this Bodhisattva and hear his name. Therefore, contemplator of the world's south Bodhisattva, you should use your spiritual powers to propagate this sutra, thus enabling beings in the Sahara world to enjoy peace and happiness always throughout hundreds of millions of ends. At that time, the world honored one spoke verses saying, I observe that earth stores or some spiritual strength could not be described in ends numerous as a Genji's sense. Seeing, hearing, beholding, and bowing to him even once benefits people and gods in endless numbers of ways. Men and women, gods and dragons, near the end of their rewards and doomed to fall into the evil paths, can sincerely take refuge with this great being, thereby lengthening their lives and dispelling offenses. Sometimes youngsters lose their kind and loving parents and do not know what paths they are now on. Quite often, lost brothers, sisters, and other kin were never known to their surviving relatives. By sculpting or painting this Bodhisattva's image, and then beseeching, gazing at, and bowing to him, and beholding his name in mind of full three weeks, those relatives may see the Bodhisattva's body. The Bodhisattva may show them where those kin were born, and even quickly free those in bad destinies, if those praying can sustain their initial resolve. Crowds may be wrapped, sagely traditions given. Those determined to cultivate a surpassed body, then escape the suffering here in the triple world, should let their greatly compassionate hearts unfold as they first behold and bow to this great being. Then every vow they make will soon be fulfilled, and no bad karma will ever hinder or stop them. Some people may resolve to 
read the sutra texts, hoping to have confused beings reach the other shore. Although the vows they make are quite remarkable, try as they may, they cannot remember what they read. Because of their comic obstacles and delusions, those people cannot memorize the Mahayana Sutras, but they can offer thanks and flowers to earth straw and give him clothes, food, and other special things. They can set pure water on the Bodhisattva's altar, leaving it there day and night before they drink it. They should rigorously abstain from pungent plants, alcohol, meat, improper sex, and false speech. For three weeks, they should not kill any creature while being mindful of the name of that great being. Then, in a dream, their vision may become boundless, awakening. They may find that they now have a keen ears. After that, when they hear the teachings of the sutras, they will never forget them for thousands of lives. How inconceivable is this Bodhisattva in helping people like that gain such wisdom? Beings may be impoverished or blocked with disease. Their homes may be troubled, their relatives scattered. They may find no peace even in sleep or dreams. Their efforts may be totally thwarted. But beholding and bowing to Earth Star's image, can cause all those evils to simply disappear. Dreams will become entirely peaceful, food and clothes ample, spirits and ghosts now guardians. When people need to pass through mountain forests, cross the seas, or go among evil birds and beasts, evil people, evil spirits, evil ghosts, and even evil winds, or to put themselves in other difficult situations. They need only gaze in worship and make offerings to an image of the mighty earth star Bodhisattva. In response, all the evils in those mountain forests and on those vast seas will simply disappear. Contemplator of South, listen well to what I say. A strawberry sattva is an unending wonder. Hundreds of millions of ends is time to be brief, to fully describe the powers of this great being. If people can but hear the name Earth Straw, bow to his image, revere and worship him, offer incense, flowers, clothes, food and drink, such acts will bring them thousands of joys. If they can dedicate such merit to Dharma realm. They will become Buddhas, ending birth and death. Contemplator of Zaus know this well and tell everyone, everywhere in lands, as many as Genji sends. 13. The entrustment of pupil and gods. At that time, the world honored one extended his gold color of the arm and again rubbed the crown of the head of a strawberry sattva ma sattva saying, Earth Star, Earth Star, your spiritual powers, compassion, wisdom, and eloquence are inconceivable. Even if all the Buddhas of the ten directions were to proclaim their praises of your inconceivable deeds, they could not finish in thousands of millions of ends. Earth Star, Earth Star, Remember this entrustment that I am again making here in the Chajashim Shaheven, in this great assembly of uncountable millions of billions of Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, gods, dragons, and the rest of the Eightfold Division. I again entrust to you the gods, people, and others who are still in the burning house and have not yet left the triple world. Do not allow those beings to fall into the evil destinies even for a single day and night, much less fall into the fivefold relentless hell or the avashi hell, where they would have to pass through thousands of billions of ants with no chance of escape. A store, 
the beings of Southern Jambu Vipa have uh, irresolute wills and natures. They habitually do many evil deeds, even if they resolve to do good. They soon renounce that resolve. If they encounter evil conditions, they tend to become increasingly involved in them. For those reasons, I reduplicate thousands of billions of bodies to transform beings, take them across, and liberate them all in accord with their own fundamental natures. A store, I now earnestly entrust the multitude of gods and people to you. If in the future, among gods and people, there are good men or women who plant a few good rules in the Buddha drama, be they as little as a strand of hair, a mold of dust, a grain of sand, or a drop of water, then you should use your powers in the way to protect them so that they gradually cultivate the unsurpassed way and do not get lost or retreat from it. Moreover, a straw, in the future gods or people, according to the responses of their karmic retributions, may be due to fall into the evil destinies. They may be on the brink of falling or may already be at the very gates to those paths. But if they can recite the name of one Buddha or Bodhisattva or a single sentence or verse of a great Vrihaiko Sutra, then you should use your spiritual powers to rescue them with expedient means. Display about this body in the places where they are, smash the house and lead them to be born in the heavens and to experience supremely wonderful bliss. At that time, the world honored one spoke in verse saying, I am entrusting you to your care, the multitudes of gods and people both now and in the future. Use spiritual powers and experience to save them. Do not allow them to fall into the evil destinies. At that time, a straw bodhisattva Mahasattva knelt on one knee, joined his palms together and said to the Buddha, I beg the world on one not to be concerned. In the future, if a good men and women have a single thought of respect, for the Buddha drama, I shall use hundreds of thousands of experience to take them across and free them. They will quickly be liberated from birth and death. How much more will that be the case for those who, having heard about all these good matters, are inspired to cultivate? Those people will naturally become irreversible from the unsurpassed way. After he finished speaking, a bodhisattva named Empty Space Treasury, who was in the, the assembly, addressed the Buddha. World honored one, I personally have come to the treasure Shimsha heaven and have heard the first common praise of Star Bodhisattva's awesome spiritual strength, describing it as inconceivable. If in the future, Good men, good women, gods and dragons hear this sutra in the name of a straw bodhisattva. And if they behold and bow to his image, how many kinds of blessings and benefits will they obtain? Please, world honored one, say a few words about this for the sake of beings of the present and future. The Buddha told the empty space treasury bodhisattva, listen attentively. Listen attentively, I shall enumerate them and describe them to you. Good men or women in the future may see images of a straw bodhisattva and hear this sutra or read or recite it. They may use incense, flowers, food and drink, clothing and gems to give gifts and make offerings to him. They may praise, behold and bow to him. Such beings will benefit in 28 ways. First, they will be protected by gods and dragons. Second, their gurus will increase daily. Third, 
They will amass supreme causes pertaining to sagehood. Fourth, they will not retreat from body. Fifth, their clothing and food will be abundant. Sixth, they will never succumb to epidemics. Seventh, they will escape calamities involving fire and water. Eighth, they will never be threatened by thieves. Ninth, they will be respected to all who see them. Tenth, will be aided by ghosts and spirits. Eleventh, women who want to can be reborn as men. Twelfth, women who want to can be reborn as daughters of national leaders and officials. Thirteenth, they will be they will have upright appearances. Fourteenth, they will often be born in their heavens. Fifteenth. They may be emperors or national leaders. Sixteen, they will have the wisdom to know past lives. Seventeenth, they will obtain whatever they seek. Eighteenth, their families will be happy. Nineteenth, they will never undergo any disasters. Twentieth, they will leave the bad comic paths forever. Twenty-first, they will always reach their destination. Twenty-second, their dreams will be peaceful and happy. Twenty-third, their deceased relatives will leave suffering behind. Twenty-fourth, they will enjoy blessings earned in previous lives. Twenty-fifth, they will be praised by sages. Twenty-sixth, they will be intelligent and have keen faculties. Twenty-seventh. They will be magnanimous and empathetic. Twenty eighth, they will ultimately realize Buddhahood. Moreover, empty space treasury bodhisattva. If gods, dragons, or spirits of the present or future hear a star's name, bow to a star's image, or hear of a star's past vows. And the events of his practices, and then praise, behold, and bow to him. They will benefit in seven ways. First, they will quickly ascend to levels of sagehood. Second, their evil karma will dissolve. Third, all Buddhas will protect and be near them. Fourth, they will not retreat from body. Fifth. Their inherent powers will increase. Sixth, they will know past lives. Seventh, they will ultimately realize Buddhahood. At that time, all the indescribably ineffable numbers of Buddhas, first come ones who had come from the ten directions, and great Bodhisattvas, gods, dragons, and the rest of the eightfold division. Having heard Shakyamuni Buddha's praise of a strong Bodhisattva's great awesome spiritual powers, lauded this unprecedented event. Following that, incense, flowers, heavenly garments, and pearl necklaces rain down in the Chajashumsha heaven as offerings to Shakyamuni Buddha and Earth Strong Bodhisattva, and everyone in the assembly joined together. In gazing at and making obeisance to the Buddha and Bodhisattva, then they put their palms together and withdrew. And a part three of Sutra, the past vows of the Strong Bodhisattva, the true words of seven Buddhas for eradicating offenses. Li Pu, Li Pu Di, Chiao He, Chiao He Di. Tua lua ni di, ni he la di, pi li ni di, mo he chie di, chen ling chen di, suo po he. Spirit mantra for rebirth in the pure land. Nam mo er mi tua po ye, tua tua chia tua ye, tua di ye tua, er mi li tu po pi, er mi li tua. Si dan po pi er mi li tu, pi cha lan di er mi li tu, pi cha lan tu chia mi li chia chia nu, chiu tu cha li suo po he. 
Mantra for patching the flaws in recitation. Na mua he la da na duo la ye ye, chia la chia la, ju chu ju chu, mo la mo la, hu la hong, ke ke su da na hong, po mo nu, suo po he. Phrase. Earth stores basic vowels and comparative causes of virtual adult. We learned that scribbling illness, physical defects, come from past life's deeds. In this life, those who recite great Vrihaiko Sutras bring benefits without end, aiding all the very born from jeweled lotuses, homage to Earth store Bodhisattva Mahasattva. Earth store Bodhisattva prays. Earth Star Bodhisattva, wonderful beyond compare, gold healed in his transformation body, he appears. Wondrous drama sounds throughout the three paths and six realms, four births and ten kinds of beings gain his calling grace. His pearl shining brightly lies the way to heaven's halls. Six ringed golden staff. Shakes open wide the gates of hell, leads on those with causes garnered life and life again to bow at the nine flower terrace of the honored one. Namo Earth Star, Great Vows, and Compassion Bodhisattva of the Dark and the Small Worlds, on nine flower mountain, most honored one with the ten wheels of power. You rescue all the suffering ones. Homage to Earth Star Bodhisattva. Homage to Earth Star Bodhisattva. Homage to Earth Star Bodhisattva. <laughs> Bodhisattva.